today I told you that there are some stories that are really going to break up. <laughs> and if it's not about Jaden Sancho, results from Eric Ten Hag's meeting, something special would have been out in there for you regarding or connecting to Jordan Sancho and Anthony. Welcome to United Matters channel. And before I go to bed, I found the story of El Ghazi transfer plan being weighed in by Man United. Very, very huge story. Very huge development. I've gone ahead to read certain people's thoughts onto social media. And I'm going to obviously come in through and obviously tell you my thoughts about El Ghazi being linked to Manchester United. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys? Hope you're really having fun wherever you are. And this is Rokani David onto this channel. Strictly Manchester United news, nothing else expected. And if at all you think that we do more than Man United, then you might be into the wrong place. Now, what confirms to you that this is the right place for you is expecting 100% Manchester United content onto this channel. If you want content of other teams, go to Rokani Media Football. That's where you'll find us discussing other stories as far as that is really concerned. Let's see close to 300 likes much in this video. <coughs> and let's obviously get into this mix as we also discuss about Bruno Fernandes going ahead to score very many goals. Sorry, putting up very many hat-trick, putting in very many assists today and accompanying them <coughs> with a goal as Portugal beat Luxembourg by nine goals to nil. So that's what you're talking about. And we thank God for the gift of life. It's a Thursday, sorry, it's a Tuesday in my country already because we are already into the we're already into the new day. And uh, we thank God for the gift of life and Allah that is obviously making these things really happen. Now <clears throat> let's start it off with a story breaking through from Chris Wilder, created by journalist, and he has gone ahead and broken a story that Man United are weighing up a move to sign Dutch winger Anwar El Ghazi as a free agent amid the uncertainty hanging over Anthony and Sancho. It's understood that El Ghazi also has other offers from Saudi Arabia, but Manchester United could give him the opportunity to make a Premier League return. <clears throat> that is El Ghazi. Now, El Ghazi for me wouldn't have been an ideal signing for Manchester United, but when you look at the situation in which we are into, we are left with no option. Now, <clears throat> if Ten Hag is going to head to meet with Jordan Sancho tonight, that means he is obviously suspending him of the team. If at all this story is really true, that we are in for El Ghazi. That means Ten Hag needs an extra right forward. And you won't even go out and obviously blame him for obviously going ahead to do the needful. Because I've seen people putting out stories that we are having Pelestri, we are having <coughs> um, Ahmad Diallo who is injured. Uh, Ganacho can also play on the right. I've seen others insinuating so and Mason Mount can play onto the right wing. Now, out of all those, I think Pelestri is the better suited right attacking midfielder. But on his age, you cannot expect him to play game in, game out because for a player to obviously play games, all a run of games that is not used to playing game in, game out, you can easily expose him to injuries, you know? And even Ganacho, you saw it. <laughs> that Ganacho, <coughs> who had a very good spell last season, when Ten Hag gave him two consecutive games this season, you saw it out that he never even played <laughs> well. That's why Ten Hag never played him in the game of Nottingham Forest and brought him on in the game of Arsenal because Ten Hag has gotten to know that you don't have to hurry these young players. Maybe he thought Alejandro Ganacho is ready, <laughs> but he wasn't ready. And Facundo Pelestri, I love him. I would love to see him play regularly for Man United, but with the run of games that we are really getting and the injuries you're really getting at Man United, you cannot block such a transfer of El Ghazi because it's not that he's going to be here forever. <clears throat> if at all they sign a deal, I think El Ghazi will sign a deal 
that will keep him at Man United until January. That is it. Because in January, I think Anthony's staff would have been sorted, God willingly. If Sancho will be leaving, Ten Hag will be having a chance to obviously sign in a new player altogether and bring him by the club of Man United. You all know that. So, to me, the signing of El Ghazi is not the signing we want at Man United, but for a plaster on a wound, he can come in and obviously get the job done. That is it. He can come in and get the job done. The league is not new to him. He played in the Premier League for Aston Villa, for Everton. <clears throat> he has been playing at PSV in Netherlands. And Ten Hag knows exactly what this player is all about. So, 28 years of age, he can obviously come in through and obviously get us some good run of games. And even if he doesn't start every game, it's all about him being on the bench and obviously having a very thick squad. You know, some people think that we are obviously having these players that can obviously take us through, you know. Ganacho is seen as a backup for Marcus Rashford. And I don't want anyone to put Ganacho into the conversation of playing him as a right attack midfielder. Because in this run of games you're going to have, Ganacho will obviously come off the bench for some games and start off some games, especially into the Carabao Cup that is coming in through. Because with effect from Saturday, we are going to be playing two games until we go back to another international break. And even when we return from another international break, if at all we are through the Carabao Cup, that means we're obviously going to be playing two games per week. So you need a very huge squad. And Ten Hag is not really stupid to obviously come in and say, let's get that player in because we need him to sit it that we got we get this we get this problem sorted. Because for Sancho. It looks like he has gone ahead and obviously said, I'm not taking the tweet down. Let me check right now was the time of recording whether it's still up or not. Because by the time I recorded the video, the other video, it was all about him. <coughs> and it was about him doing the needful at the Twitter handle. And it was obviously pinned there. Let me check and see. It's still there, pinned, and it was put up on the third. So it's a week plus, and the tweet is still there, meaning that this player is obviously going to obviously put in a shift and obviously not want to even play for this club of Man United anymore. So Ten Hag knows and is making his calculations very, 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 very well. And I think he's obviously getting everything as required to me i think ten hag is getting everything right because you cannot obviously have a thin squad when you are having to compete in the champions league premier league carabao cup fa cup no way no way so injuries are really going to be so much part of our career sorry of the players of united this season because of the number of games we had to play last season and obviously they are almost back in the same marathon and some minutes have gonna have to be increased in so our players are really in trouble and that's why ten hag is doing this and he's not doing it in a bad heart if their better option would have gone in for it but the transfer window is closed and the only player he can get on a free and include him in the squad of man united is el ghazi so facundo pelestri will have his go that is it because that's how players like him obviously get their chances and utilize them because for him every time he's gonna have to be given a chance he is gonna have to utilize it and put in the shift that is really very very required so let's wait and see how that pans out but it looks like it's ugly losing out two players for non-footballing reasons that is sancho and anthony is the worst hate that a manager like eric ten hag will ever find himself in because last season he had a lot to obviously deal with and god helped him to obviously rules through everything now here he comes with another problem that he has to solve and obviously find himself in a position of getting where he deserves to be as a manager of Manchester United let's wait and see how he solves it that's why for me I would 100% back the signing of El Ghazi because he has nothing to do he doesn't have Sancho he doesn't have Anthony what do you want him to do 
you know people are talking about mason mount mason mount is an injury prone player you cannot trust him you cannot trust him to be a viable you know even when he never played very many games for chelsea came at united do, did the preseason very well played just two games and is off so you cannot obviously back yourself onto mason mount so that is it i know there is a portion of united fans who don't want el Ghazi here but to me i would go for him any day because we need a player like him at this club of manchester united now the portuguese magnificio that he's uh bruno fernandez is gonna hit to score a hat trick of assists today and is gonna hit to score one goal as Portugal took on Luxembourg in that game that ended 9-0. Bruno Fernandes is really one of those players that is asserting his importance in the game of football in the world, though he has gone ahead to hit 29 years of age. His stats are obviously incredible and they are mad. And with his stats, you look at him and obviously think that if at all he's obviously in the Champions League every season, he can find himself obviously stepping on the podium of the Champions League. And with Eric Tenha coming in through the likes of Sofian Amrabat at the club of Man United, I think we are going to have a very good go into the Champions League and this season is obviously going to be very, very great. So your thoughts on to United weighing in to sign El Ghazi? A welcome in the comment section below what do you make about bruno fernandez brilliant form that is really unceasing and he has gone ahead and registered three assists that is a hat trick of assists and one goal as portugal annihilated annihilated luxembourg by nine goals to nil <clears throat> i've seen defense joe felix scoring um goncalo ramos to me he did a very good goal this boy is really talented and i think you are going to enjoy him more with PSG playing in the Champions League. So, I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living to God bless you abundantly. Rock and David remains my name. And my Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Lau Fikum. Good morning and good night. Ciao, ciao.